So the project menu requires uh, the base uh, development system. The project menu contains items used for basic LabVIEW project operations such as opening, closing and saving projects, completing builds from build specifications and viewing project information. The project menu items are active only when a project is loaded. So the first option is uh, create a project which lets us create a project from the create project dialog box. When the create project dialog box appears we can select from the templates that are available uh, inside this dialog box. So the next option is open project which opens a dialog box which lets us to navigate to a folder where our project is located, select it and then we can load it and work on it. So the next option is save project which saves our project and if uh, we are working on a project uh, that has not been saved then a dialog box would appear asking us to specify the folder and a name for the project to save as. Next option is close project which is which as the name suggests just closes the project. Uh, if uh, we had uh, some changes uh, that are unsaved then a dialog box would appear prompting us to save the changes. Next is the option to add to project which provides us uh, all the options that we can add to our project. A new VI adds a new blank VI to the uh, project. If uh, we choose this option with three ellipses then a dialog box will appear from which we can select VI level templates, various templates or we can create objects like libraries, type definitions, etc. The next option is file which displays a file dialog box which, can, which we can use to navigate to a file to add to the project. can select it and then we can press add file. Next option is folder snapshot which displays a dialog box which we can use to navigate to a directory to add to the project. When you when we select a directory or on disk LabVIEW creates a new virtual folder in the project with the same name as the directory on disk. LabVIEW also creates project items that represent the contents of the entire directory including files and contents of the subdirectories. After we add a virtual folder to a project, LabVIEW does not automatically update the folder in the project if we make changes to the, uh, to the directory uh, on, the, uh, on the disk. Then this, this folder was already added, so this uh, unable to add items has been selected. And the folder is now added in this location. So the next option is if we have my computer selected, then the next option is folder auto populating. And this also displays a dialog box which we can use to navigate to a folder which we can then add to our project by using this uh, select folder button. LabVIEW continuously monitors uh, and updates the folder according to changes made in the project and on disk. 
uh, this item is available only if we select a target or a folder under the target in the project explorer window the next option is hyperlink which displays a hyperlink properties dialog box we can add hyperlinks to link to files or directories that are not on the local computer but are accessible on the internet or the local network and hyperlinks and then adds so the next option is filter view with which we can disable the dependencies or the build specification whether we want to see them or not next option is show items path if you select it then the project uh, window shows you the full path uh, to the items in the project so the next option is show items uh, file information if you select it then the project file information dialog box appears you can select items and see corresponding uh, item name in the corresponding item name uh, section you can also export the file in a paths select a destination and save the file and then you can see these all these same information in this text file so the next option is resolve conflicts this only appears if there are uh, conflicts uh, file conflicts in your project that need resolving and the last option is properties which shows you the project properties dialog box Thanks for watching.